a new tutorial and uh, we are going to continue explaining how to set this uh, so we can use it on a game so basically we are going to standardize three layouts here a uh, world player and item so that way it will be easier to know which um item or which entity we're colliding with in the game so in the main we got the player we see here on the player we got the collision which is called player so it's identified by this collision then we got the item the item collision it's going to be here so we know this is an item and then we go into uh, our next uh, step. A step. So the next step will be inside the inventory function, the inventory inventory uh, script actually, and it's called the initialize inventory function, which is going to iterate through all the slots and searches the inventory within the player inventory auto load script and adds the item to it. Next, uh, so basically what I'm going to explain here is that we're initializing uh, that function called initialize item which is inside the script for slots so a slot takes this new function called initialize item which has a parameter item name and a quantity of it so this um, we will set this slot to carry on that specific item then as we see here then after that uh, we go to um, set item so we got the item and we're gonna set a function we're gonna call a function from it so we go to the item gd script and we're gonna call the set item function so as you see it's a new stuff that means uh, this is being new so we call in here in the item gd script it's gonna take a name and a quantity so two more parameters to set that item that we're grabbing into it and let's make sure to update the texture also the label after this uh, we're gonna call an auto load so how to call the auto load it's pretty easy so you just make sure to grab this so you write a new script it's gonna be called player inventory and uh, then within this you will uh, grab the variable it's going to be a constant actually for the number of inventory slots that will carry on the inventory then uh, this is like uh, the way you establish each one of these uh, slots inside the inventory and then we're going to call the function add item and this function it will iterate to every uh, slot within the inventory and if it doesn't have a uh, like um, um, well if it it doesn't have anything on it it will add a new one so for example here on the item drop we're calling here an area uh, make sure to tap this this will be recognizing the player and we're calling up a function body enter so once the body enter it will add the item which contains two parameters the item name and the quantity so as you see the item name is going to be a string a five that means here is the number five so that's the item that we are going to be looking forward to add so once we we do that and as you see here if it doesn't uh, it if let's say for example the inventory size is more than 14 then it will not go anywhere because we won't be able to add it so let's make sure that this is working so we're calling oh yeah yeah actually over here in the um, this place we're going to use your interface and we're going to initialize the inventory here as well so we make sure that every time it's requesting for the information inside the uh, inventory okay so let's try it and let's see what happens So as you see, it actually added the item that we were expecting to add as a quantity of just one. 
set three more variables inside the slot dot gd script. The slot type, the slot type with capital letter, which is coming with an enum, and the slot index. Because we are reusing the slot gd script for all the containers, so we can track these three and recognize if it's a slot type belongs to a hot bar inventory or equipment. For the equipment, we will split it in three, shirt, pants, and shoes. All right, so let's get on it. Um, we're going to inventory. Over here, we're going to assign the slot index. And the slot type. So we are initializing the uh, slot index uh, inside the inventory script. Later it will be initialized on the um, order on the hot bar and the equipment but that's going to be on a different tutorial so let's continue as you see we are getting the index for that slot and also we are setting the slot type which is in this case the inventory because we're inside the inventory and everything occurs inside of it all right then we go to player inventory gd script over here Okay, on this script, um, we will add a function called add item to empty slot. As you see here, we're defining the match that will contain um, the information for the slot type. Then that will actually verify where we are um, putting the item. If it's in a hot bar, then it will be assigned to a hot bar. If it's into an inventory, it will be assigned to an inventory. And then for everything else, it will be assigned for the equip, depending if it's a pants, if it's the shirt, or if it's the um, shoes. All right, so let's keep going. Visual, we're going to be able to depending of the item that we are looking at we're going to be able to visually uh, see how it looks so then we are going to speak about this function remove item so we're going to assign a match depending on where we are look uh, looking at so if it's the hardware inventory or the equipment we're going to delete the item entirely from the dictionary inventory which is up here so once it's completely deleted and um, as I said it depends of the dictionary so for instance in hotbar is gonna be at the hotbar dictionary in inventory is gonna be the inventory dictionary and for the equip it's going to be this one if we have to delete it if we're moving it to the inventory or to the hot part. So for this, uh, we are actually going very well. Let's see the next one. It's going to be, let's talk about the uh, function inside the inventory script, the able to put into slot. So we're gonna declare a holding item variable, which is finding the user interface that variable inside that script which is going to be holding item so the holding items is coming from the user interface over here so we're giving a value to this particular variable now that we have that um, set if the holding item is null then return true 
Also, we're going to sign in a, a variable for the category of the item, which is coming from the singleton main data over here, which is grabbing the information from the SQLite, the item category. Depending on what we see here, is what we're going to grab to our inventory. And depending on the information coming from that, um, then we're going to assign a value, a stream for each of those. These functions here, so we are updating these functions. Now, the first one is left click different item. So left click different item will actually call two functions from the single tone player inventory, remove item, and the add item to the empty slot. So we're going to pass it over momentarily to the user interface .td script to be a specific here. It will land on the holding item variable inside of it to be a specific. Then we have the left click same item. So if we are able to add into that slot. We are going to call this new function from the global add item quantity, which will only update, which will only update the quantity of the item that we're putting in the same place, on the same item actually. In the global inside the function add item quantity. So we're going for the global add item quantity function together here. And as we see here, we need to define this function because uh, we need to modify certain things. Um, first, we need to modify that. Uh, we need to check so we don't get beyond our stack limit for each of the items that have a stack size by declaring a variable the stack size here which will contain the main data stacker coming from the main data auto load then we check the able to add variable that subtract the stack size minus the inventory quantity coming from the variable that we set up so it's coming from right here. The number one is the array one because this is zero, this is a one. Um then if able to add is greater than the item quantity, which is the amount we want to add. Then we just go and add the rest of item quantity to the slot. And then we return. Else, oh yeah, we are also updating the slot show here. So we know what's going on immediately with the item. Then we return else. We add what we can and then we subtract that from the item quantity so there is a leftover amount which will try to be found for another slot so we have a for loop and we will go to a different slot and try to figure out if we can add it to there and then update the visuals again here if the item doesn't exist so we add it to an empty slot here All right, so now that we set that up and see, okay, so we're moving items. Everything is going accordingly to what we expected. Okay, the item was updated once we step into it, as we expected. And we open and close the, the, the inventory and it's still showing there. And then we go here, um, let's try a test, let's try to add some of the items. So we now we have 12. 
um, yeah, it's working as expected. Um, sorry guys for the long wait. I was actually in a lot of work. Um, was reckless. My work actually. Um, yeah, this is why it took me so long. But yeah, I think I will be uploading a new video pretty soon. So please subscribe and comment. I really appreciate it. Goodbye.